Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Prince of War Channel. There seems to be a lot of questions surrounding Bell's V-280 Valor, including how it differs from the V-22 Osprey and how the company intends on making the case that its second iteration of Tiltroder technology should replace a large number of H-60 Blackhawk variants, along with other helicopters, to satisfy the Pentagon's ambitious future vertical lift initiative. The V-280's primary competition exists in the form of Sikorsky's SB-1 Defiant Coaxial Rotor Pusher Compound Helicopter. The V-280 recently transitioned into cruise mode, with its prop rotors tilted fully forward for the first time. The company lauds the fact that its prototype is flying and well into its testing regimen. Meanwhile, Sikorsky's SB-1 still hasn't taken to the skies after multiple delays, but a smaller derivative of the same technology, the S-97 Raider, has been flying for three years with a second prototype now on hand. Bell was more than willing to field our inquiries with Keith Flail, Vice President, Advanced Tiltroder Systems providing us with the company's official answers. The exchange provides a clear view of what the Valor was designed to do and how it differs with its established forebearer, the Osprey, and to some extent, its competition. It also gives us an indication of where the design may migrate beyond the Pentagon's stated needs. It's clear that the future vertical lift competition is heating up, and the Army says the program cannot be delayed. So, without further ado, here is our exchange with the head honcho of Bell's Tiltroder Division. Without the shipboard requirement and constraints of the V-22, is the V-280 able to feature a more optimized and efficient Tiltroder design? The V-280 is designed to be a multi-service, multi-mission aircraft capable of meeting shipboard compatibility requirements. Those may differ between services. The Army may or may not have a shipboard requirement. However, the USMC will likely require shipboard compatibility and marinization. The design of the V-280 will lend itself to either requirement. Bell has a proven history of high commonality across multi-mission aircraft with the UF-1Y and HA-1Z tiltroder blade fold wing stow capability is something we are experienced in as well with the MV-CV and soon the CMV-22. Folding blades and stowing wings adds to the cost and weight but may be required for the mission and our features Bell is very experienced with designing and manufacturing. How does the V-280's targeted performance stack against the MV-22's performance? The weight of the V-280 will be less than a V-22. A V-22 is characterized as a medium-heavy aircraft with a different mission set than the V-280 in the medium lift, long-range assault, or attack role. The aircraft will have similar speeds and ranges dependent upon the final service requirements. The USNC will likely require the V-280 to have comparable speeds to a V-22 as they field future attack aircraft that will have to provide support to the V-22. In what way are the V-280's fixed nasals an improvement over the V-22's pivoting nasal configuration? The V-280 fixed engine configuration provides both operational and maintainability features across the spectrum of FEL multi-service mission sets. With over 400,000 flight hours and lesson learned applied into the V-280 clean sheet design, we have been able to capitalize on operational and maintainability opportunities. Our fixed engine configuration allows maintainers the ability to remove an engine, drive shaft, or gearbox independent of each other, reducing time required for maintenance procedures and increasing aircraft availability to the operator. Having a non-rotating nasal affords troops easy access entering and exiting the side doors and allows the aircraft to deploy self-protection weapons while conducting low-speed flight approaching, departing, and in landing zones.
What major differences are there between the interior and cabin features of the MV22 and the V280 Valor? How were these differences dictated by the V280's targeted mission set? The V22 was designed for a medium-slash-heavy assault support utility mission. The V280 was designed as a multi-mission platform, easily reconfigurable for attack or MEDDVAC missions. The V280 was purpose-built for the Army and Marine Corps basic fighting units, the Infantry Squad. The V-22 is capable of carrying 24 passengers, while the V-280 is designed for 12 passengers. This allows expansion to carry squad enablers, medics, interpreters, dog teams, embedded reporter, or whatever the mission dictates. The V-22 has a rear cargo ramp while the V-280 is designed with side doors for rapid ingress and aggress of the aircraft. Having large side doors adds a great deal of mission flexibility and the volume of the cabin enables it to be reconfigured for a variety of mission sets. How different are the two aircraft from a pilot's and maintainer's perspective? Are operations similar? There are several characteristics of the V-280 already mentioned that will increase maintainer efficiency. Additionally, the aircraft was designed, built, and is currently being maintained in a digital environment or what we refer to as the digital thread. This allows the maintainer to view the aircraft technical data in three dimensions. They will receive updates much like your mobile phones or computers today. If there are changes to procedures, updates can be pushed to the fleet. As maintenance is performed, there is visibility across the supply chain on repair parts demand and trends. We are gathering a significant amount of data during flight testing that will start to inform an integrated vehicle monitoring system as well. This reduces the life cycle cost of the aircraft, allowing condition-based maintenance and predictability across the supply from manufacturing to the user. Flying the aircraft will be similar with the exception of improved performance in digital flight controls, reduced disc loading, and improved low-speed agility enabled by an increase in the amount of blade flapping designed into the rotor system. Why is the V280's tilt rotor tech superior to the compound pusher coaxial helicopter concept that is being fielded by the competition? We can't speak to the coaxial pusher prop technology or its capability. For long range and high speeds, wing-borne flight is highly efficient. There are also some distinct advantages for survivability and high-speed maneuverability. Bell Tilt Rotor technology has proven itself with over 400,000 hours of operational experience and the V-22 being one of the most in-demand aircraft for contingency operations around the world. The Tilt Rotor configuration is mature and this maturity and reliability has allowed the V-280 test team to rapidly enter into flight testing with an advanced air vehicle and actually expand the flight envelope to cruise mode in the five months since first flight. Bell's innovative engineers and USMC and USAF operations have proven Tilt Rotor is the solution to performance requirements to meet warfighters' future vertical lift requirements. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to support this channel by liking and commenting on your opinions here. See you in the next video.